In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine if a compound is soluble or insoluble using the solubility rules. A soluble compound is one that dissolves in water. One that is insoluble does not dissolve in water. So in an ionic compound, if you see group one metal ions like sodium, potassium, lithium, rubidium, and things in that column, they are always soluble. That's the general rule. Ammonium is also always soluble. And if you see any of these two polyatomic ions, nitrate, acetate, it's always soluble. Now you might find some rare exceptions, but for the most part, if you have a test and you see those two, generally speaking, it's going to be soluble. Now, the halides like chloride, bromide, iodide, these are generally soluble. Fluoride is a little bit different. The exceptions to those are silver, lead 2 plus, and mercury 2, 2 plus. So if you were to see PBBr2, that would be insoluble because with PB, bromide, PB is an exception for bromide. Now, sulfates are generally soluble. The exception is certain group two metals like calcium, barium, and strontium, and also lead two plus. Hydroxides are generally insoluble, except with group one metals like sodium, lithium, and potassium, ammonium, and also the heavy group two alkaline earth metals like calcium, strontium, barium. Magnesium hydroxide is somewhat soluble in water. So that's like the borderline there. But below magnesium, you have calcium, strontium, and barium. Hydroxide is soluble with those metal ions. Now, focusing on the last row, sulfide, carbonate, phosphate, and chromate. These ions are generally insoluble, but they will be soluble with these guys, the group one metal cations like sodium, potassium, and lithium, and of course with ammonium. So those are the general solubility rules that you need to be familiar with. If you know this, this is good enough to determine if a compound is soluble or insoluble. Now let's put this information to work. Let's uh, put it into practice. Let's work on some example problems. Let's start with this one, sodium phosphate. Is it soluble or insoluble? Based on the solubility rules, anytime you see a group one metal ion like sodium, potassium, or lithium, it's going to be soluble. And so we're going to represent this using the phase AQ, aqueous, which means that it dissolves in water. Now, what about potassium chloride? Well, potassium is a group one metal, so that also will dissolve in water. Now, silver chloride, Chlorides are generally soluble with the exceptions of silver, lead, and mercury. So because that is an exception to being generally soluble, this is going to be insoluble. And we're going to write S. Because if you were to mix sodium chloride in water, it's going to remain a solid. It's not going to dissolve into the aqueous phase. Now what about lead to nitrate? Nitrates are always soluble, so we're going to put that in the aqueous phase. Next, potassium sulfate. Potassium is a group one metal cation, and so that is going to dissolve in water. That's soluble. So we're going to write aqueous. Lead to sulfate. Sulfates are generally soluble, but lead is an exception. So this is going to be insoluble in water. Next, we have potassium hydroxide. Potassium being a group one metal, that's always going to be soluble. So we're going to write aqueous for that. Now, it might be a good idea to pause the video, take out a sheet of paper, and try the remaining examples yourself. Determine if these compounds are soluble and insoluble using the solubility rules that we discussed earlier in this video. So feel free to take a minute to try these problems, and then play the video to see if you got the answer. So let's start with barium hydroxide. Is barium hydroxide soluble or insoluble? Hydroxides are generally insoluble. Barium is an exception, which makes it soluble. Now, magnesium hydroxide, that's different. Magnesium and barium, they're in the same column. They're both group two alkaline earth metals. But 
magnesium hydroxide is somewhat insoluble. So we're going to put solid for that. Its solubility is very, very low in water. In fact, it is used as magnesium hydroxide is used as a laxative in the milk of magnesia product. Lithium carbonate. Lithium is an alkali metal. It's a group one alkali metal, so it's going to be aqueous. It's in the same category as sodium and potassium. Magnesium phosphate. Phosphates are generally insoluble, with the exception of group one metal cations. So this is going to be a solid. Ammonium, this is always soluble, so we're going to write AQ for that. Sulfides are generally insoluble, so we're going to put S. Silver nitrate. Nitrates are soluble. That's one of the first rules, so that's going to be AQ. And then for the last one, iodide is a halide, which is generally soluble, but lead is an exception. So we're going to put solid for that. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to determine if a compound is soluble or insoluble using the solubility table. Thanks for watching.